uh, and a plea for uh, no reactions, responses to the answers to these questions. We may have to just open up the ceiling and let the rain in. So, uh, okay. So, in light of allegations of pain of play that have plagued the state over the past year or more, how would you ensure that the bidding process for city projects is fair and transparent? And I'd like you to please be specific in your answer. We'll begin with uh, RJ Barry. Well, transparency, I was the first candidate in this race and the only candidate at this point that has really proposed a transparency website. In the legislature, we worked on ethics legislation on a fairly consistent basis. And one thing I found is you cannot legislate ethics. You can legislate penalties against ethics violations. But what you can do is you can legislate transparency. And that's what I want to do with the city. I want a website where you, as a taxpayer, as a citizen of Albuquerque, can with a click of a mouse go in, search the city checkbook, see where the dollars are going, search contract awards. You'd be able to even go in to see what the bid letting process, see who bid on the projects, see what those were. And I think transparency is the key. It does two things. It keeps the honest folks honest, and it lets the folks that maybe aren't going to be doing the right things, which I think would be the very, very, very few. I mean, I think most people in government do a fantastic job, and, and, and there's, there's very few that we need to be concerned about, but there are a few out there. And transparency is the key. Sh shedding a light where there's no light shining today, and people will get the message. And, and things will be much better in this regard. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I am very pleased and proud uh, to have uh, initiated and achieved passage uh, of the Electronic Access Act that we have in the city of Alfred. We named it after Bob Johnson, who's the late uh, head of the Foundation for Open, Open Government. So we today in the city of Alfred have the most accessible database, the most accessible records base. Uh, of any city in the United States. Uh, respectfully, and I would certainly uh, am open to recommendations, uh, I think we already have that open and transparent system at the city of Albuquerque. We've completely revamped our FP, our FP process so that it's accessible online. So prospective bidders can go on, they can see exactly what the contract is about, uh, and then how they, get, how they get more information, how they fill out their forms, uh, and so they can be competitive. You know, we have taxpayers' money to spend, we're responsible for that, and we have to be diligent with it, and we have it. You know, I'm proud to say that I received the first ever James Madison Award for Open Government, sponsored by the Foundation for Open Government, and that is because I pushed for open conference committees in the legislature. Unfortunately, we were never able to accomplish that goal. However, the legislature, just this last session, did pass the Open Conference Committee law, and we do have Open Conference Committees. I believe that we should have bids on everything. Currently, with the city of Albuquerque, one of the things that small businesses always tell me is that bids are almost a shakedown. Let's not forget the Balloon Park Museum contract. No contract there. Open, I mean, no bid. And the architect ended up getting over $6 million in money. The observation deck scandal in Mayor Chavez's first term. No bid, no accountability. The more recent court battle with Bodie Aviation Services. Look at those tapes, and it'll tell you a lot. Thank you. 30 seconds, RJ Barry. Well, apparently we do have room to move because I know the Councilor Gardunio currently has a piece of transparency legislation uh, in front of a committee at the city, and I applaud him for doing that. And once again, I think transparency is the key. I've worked on it in the legislature. I voted for open conference committees there. And even before we had an open conference committee uh, legislation, uh, I was working on a bipartisan bill with someone across the aisle, and we actually opened up our own conference committee prior to any legislation being there. So once again, transparency is key. We need more of it. As your next mayor, I'm going to make City Hall more transparent. Thank you. Look, I, I regret and disappointed by the negative tone uh, of the comments. I'm not going to go there with you. I think I would be yeah, deserved not to debate uh, by candidates to express our vision for the future, our record of accomplishment, uh, what it is we intend to do to accomplish our vision. I'm proud of the city of Albuquerque today, and I'm proud of the work that I've performed for the citizens of Albuquerque. Mm -hmm.